you know, with, with that in mind, as far as not wanting to be labeled, like I created Jazzmatazz as a project, a solo project while he was, a lot of people were asking him to produce them. And that was their whole, that was the, their whole love of the whole Gangstar sound. And so what that is, is kind of like people, you know, wanting a piece of the Gangstar sound and Premier's like a beat tailor. So they, they was coming to him and, and still are. And as a solo project, I was like, okay, what I'm gonna do is go and get the actual jazz, jazz cats who we sampled, bring them in the studio and have them play jazz, play jazz over hip hop. So we call that, I call that jazz with jazz. So, you know, fortunately, both those projects are still in existence and people are still, you know, hiring Primo for tracks. So, you know, the longevity we've been blessed with is still here. The new album, the owners in stores now, 17 banging tracks. We got a lot of special guests on there. The current single is called Right Where You Stand featuring Jadakiss. It's it's real hot joint. Uh, I loved it when I first heard the beat, you know. And it's funny, we have a formula that we have that we just sharpen every year. Um, it's, it's like I start with the titles, I give Primo the titles, then he starts making the beats to the titles. So even if I have a title, like I knew that I wanted to call the song with Jadakiss right where you stand. So I'll put, I, on the paper, I'll put right where you stand and then I'll put featuring Jadakiss even before we do anything. And then, you know. Before we he, tell him about it. Yep. So then he made the track. And um, it was just sick. Then I put, I put the rhymes on it, and um, we, we sent it out to Jadakiss on the road, and uh, he laced it. Again, we got, we got a song with Snoop, big up to him, and that goes back to what we were saying about real recognizing real, East Coast, West Coast, what? There's no problem with that. There's always been love and respect. And um, that song is real hot. Look, you know, peep that song. It's called In This Life. Oh, man. We got, a, yeah, we got a lot of joints on the album. M.O.P. and Fat Joe on the album. We got all our homeboys. She meant to mention the song, excuse me, called Peace of Mind. Uh, you were saying you like peace of mind. Peace of mind was actually not part of the list either. That was a he was he he, he was like yo. I want to do one song where it's just one verse, all one long verse, and just say everything I got to say in one long verse and never take a break. And um, you, you know we, we, we like we, we're the type of people that like to shape our albums, and we felt like we were like one or two songs short from really making the whole circle complete. So I, I I did the beat, and he actually walked in that day, and that one did not have a title. And when he walked in, he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna call it Peace of Mind." And even the way he spelled it, I wrote it. Yeah, yeah, mine. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's really about how hip hop is our way of of almost, uh, you know, just being able, to, being able to vent, being able to get out that frustration and anger, and, and that's our way of, it gives us our own peace. You know, whenever we're asked to do a show, we love performing. That's one of our major parts of, of, of our success, to, you know, so to speak, because we're, we're more of a touring group. There's a lot of groups that sell millions of records. We've never sold platinum. You know, we've sold gold before, but we've never been sold a million copies in, in our career. And we have the platinum respect. We have respect that out, like if we, we sold millions of records. But a lot of people that sell five, six, seven million albums don't really get a lot of shows. I, why, I don't know, but where we do a lot of shows. I mean, even during the five-year break of not having an album out back in 99, we was on tour for months just doing lots and lots of shows. We did over we did over 40 shows within within that 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 that, that little two-year break before we even started to record our new album. So that, that 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 shows you that we have a fan base that's already established and a lot of people don't. And when you have a fan base, it's just like with, with, our, with our record sales. Our record sales we're selling between 15,000 and 16,000 albums a week, and that's not any without any radio play. The new fans, first of all, big up to them. I mean, the whole thing is that uh, we do our music for the core audience, for the gangstar audience, and if we have new fans that we collect, it's a beautiful thing. But I think one thing needs to happen, you know, across the country is that, you know, See, we school the younger cats around us on the hip hop that we like, on the hip hop that we came up on. So I think people, oh, we got the hotline going, my page is going off. But like, I think that people should continuously do that, whether it's your niece, your nephew, your sons, your daughters, whatever. 
school them on 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 the hip hop that you dig if you if you old or OG or whatever because like when we went to Cali we um we uh, went to see the summer jam out there and it was of course you know all the all the the hot you know um, groups right now on the scene you know Busta Nas Fabulous everybody caught wreck but then the headliner was West Side Connection and they OGs like us, but the, out there the, the kids knew. They knew who they were, they knew all the songs, they knew the old songs, they knew Ice Cube's old songs. You know what I mean? And they don't they don't even have a new album out, they just have a single out and they're already up on it. So that's really the duty of of, of you know the the older ones in the community to pass that knowledge on. And also it's it's the the new fans, it's the younger cats duties to study you know, the history of, of what's going on with this music and this culture, because otherwise, you know, it could be easily taken from us. So, um, exactly. So, I mean, it's up to you to find out about, you know, uh, hip hop that you don't know about, the history of it, because, you know, that way it'll last and, and we'll have some longevity with it. Yo, right about now, you're checking out the groove, Paula. You heard this is Guru. I'm DJ Premier. We're, We're Gangstar. Gangstar. You know yeah, the owner's in the building, you heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it locked right here. Groove Paula. Yeah.